Hello everyone. Today I am going to start working on a new sensor that is SHT24. To gain more knowledge about this sensor, what we have to do is to have a look over the website that is controlleverything.com and here we have to log in and search for the sensor that is SHT25. Now let's have a look over and better perspective about the sensor which we have that it's a humidity and temperature sensor and as you can see these are some of its features and this is the sensor. Now you can also purchase the sensor from this very site. Well for this video session what I'm gonna do is to have a look over the interfacing of this sensor SHT25 along with the Arduino Nano and to gain more knowledge let's have a look over the resource tab and here comes the Arduino code sample. As you can see as I click here you can download the code as a zip file from here that's connection. Now you can also have the code from github repository that is control everything community. Now what we're gonna do is to make some connections for the hardware we require for this video tutorial and let's have a look over that. Now in the hardware section first of all we require our sensor that is humidity and temperature sensor SHT25. Next we require an Arduino Nano which you are able to see on my screen and this here is an I2C shield. It's available on the website controleverything.com and you can purchase it from there. The requirement of this I2C shield is very essential as it's very useful in making connections with other I2C devices and this connection make a lot easier. So we use this and gently place the Arduino Nano over the I2C shield. To make a connection among the sensor and the shield what we require is a connecting cable as you can see on my screen. This is also available on the website controleverything.com. Now make a connection and while making this connection make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal and same goes for I2C shield. Now the last part is to power up the Arduino Nano. So we require a mini USB cable just like this and gently insert it over the power jack. So we are done with the connections part. Now what we require is to have a look over the Arduino code so that we can explain the code better. Let's have it. Now coming to the interfacing part, first of all we have to look over the code so that we can explain it better. So to get the code what we have to go is to log into github.com and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community which you are able to see on my screen. Now click over here and here search for the sensor SHT25 and here is our required sensor as you can see. Now this is the Arduino code we will look forward to explore but before that let's have a look over the instructions. We need to pursue this code and it's that we have downloaded and installed Arduino software ID on our local machine and this is the link which will help us to go through all the relevant information regarding the installation. Please go through this link and you can have all the relevant information. Now get back to the code as we can see it's Arduino code and .ino extension file. Now as you look on the code we will explain it bit and you can see we have included y.h libraries and we have defined the address of the sensor that is 0x40. Now in the void setup function we have initialized I2C communication as master and serial communication with the baud rate equal to 9600. Now in the void loop function we have to start uh, the transmission as you can see we have y.begin transmission and here we are writing some data and we are sending Humidity measurement command no hold master mode and it's comprises of 0x f5 and then we have requested and read two bytes of data as you can see for the humidity and here we have the conversion of the humidity data which is according to the data sheet we have seen for SHT25. Now we have the output data on the serial monitor as you can see relative humidity along with the percentage RH which is the unit. Similarly, pursuing for the temperature measurement, we are sending temperature measurement command no hold master mode which is 0xf3 and we are requesting and reading 2 bytes of temperature data here. And then we have the conversion of the data for the temperature which is according and including uh, the data, the formulas for the data sheet SHT25. At the very end, we have the output data to be printed on the serial monitor which is the temperature in Celsius along with Fahrenheit scales. So this is how the code is. Now what we require is to have a look over the working, the practicality of this code. Let's have a look over that. 
Well, for the working environment, first of all, copy this entire Arduino code as you can see on my screen and open up the Arduino terminal here. Now, in this Arduino terminal, what we have to do is to paste the entire code and save it and name it SHT25 for the reference and then verify and compile the code. It's done compiling, now upload the code. While uploading, it might take a while, but let's wait. It's done uploading, now to watch the output of the code, what we have to do is to open up the serial monitor and here we go. As you can see, we have the relative humidity along with the temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit. Now, when I apply some humidity over the sensor, you can see there is a change in relative humidity along with the temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit. Now, when I again do that, you can see the change in humidity and temperature. So, this is how the sensor responds to the Arduino code and how it works. Now, what we do is to have a look over the applications, the benefit and the features of the sensor SHT25. Let's have it. So we have seen the sensor SHT25 humidity and temperature sensor with a completely new design CMOS sense or chip a revoked capacitive type humidity sensor and an improved band gap temperature sensor the performance has been lifted beyond the outstanding level of the previous sensor generation. For example, Measures have been taken to stabilize the behavior at high humidity levels. It is applicable in a lot of markets like industrial, HVAC, IoT, home appliances and automotive grade. The humidity and temperature sensor SHT25 can be purchased from the website controleverything.com and you can have the code from resource tab. You can download the code as a zip file from there. Also, you can have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end, uh, I just want to make it clear that in case of any part uh, where you have some queries, you can reach us on control everything.com and you can post your comments on the community page of this website like this. For blogs and articles, you can have a look over instructables.com and you can watch us there. Also, to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can go to our YouTube channel. In the end, thanks for watching and have a great day. Thanks a lot.